life after the dinosaurs. Okay, lot stranger after the big reptiles died out. Here are 20 of the weirdest prehistoric mammals. Number 20, Calcotherium. A Calcotherium looks like a strange cross between a horse and a gorilla. Although it is a relative of horses and rhinos, oddly enough. And it walks like an actual gorilla to protect its long claws, which is used to grab tree branches for it to eat. Thankfully, there is no evidence of Calcotherium throwing boulders, if you get what I'm saying. Number 19, Dinotherium. One of the largest mammals in history is also one of the most bizarre looking mammals. It had two small tusks on its lower jaws. Now the purpose of the tusk was to scrape up tree bark and to scoop up groups. To make this animal even more bizarre, paleontologists once thought Dinotherium's fossils or mistaken for a real life cyclops. Now that's strange. Number 18, Leptictidium. Take a closer look at that snout. This small mammal looks like a cross between an elephant, shrew, and a jerboa. In fact, this animal was the first bipedal mammal to ever appear on the planet. Most people recognize this small mammal from the BBC documentary series Walking with Prehistoric Beast. Number 17. Odophenocytops. This sea mammal may look like a manatee or a walrus, but it's actually a whale. It had one tusk that was 3 feet long, while the other one was 9.8 inches long. It's assumed that only males have the long tusk only, while females have two short tusks. The males use their long tusk for jousting during rainy season. Did you know that Urbanosotops means the whale that walks on its teeth. Number 16. Stegotetrabelodon. This odd looking elephant obviously had four tusks two on its upper jaw and two coming out of its lower jaw. While the purpose of the tusk is unclear at the moment, but if you think about it, Stegotetrabelodon kind of looks like the Oliphant from Lord of the Rings, doesn't it? Number 15, Arsenotherium. This creature was named after the Egyptian queen Arsino. It may, it may look like a rhino, but it's an ancestor of the elephant and a lifestyle similar to a hippo. Some paleontology think that this elephant is in mangroves and swamps and even ate aquatic plants. Number 14, Embolotherium. This strange rhino like beast is in fact a relative of rhinos and horses like the Calico Theorem from earlier. Some people actually mistake it for the Bronto Theorem, one of the two creatures in the first Ice Age movie that was chasing Sid. But Bronto Theorem has a shorter bony knob, where Embolo Theorem has a obviously larger knob. It kind of resembles a battering ram, hence why the name means battering ram beast. Number 13, Amphilocetus. Now don't be fooled by its appearance. This is actually an ancestor of the whales. Long ago, whales used to have regular legs, like mammals do during the Eastern Epoch. Ambulocetus is the best representation of these early whales, which is why its name means walking whale. Number 12, Serato Gallus. Yes, Ice Age was not making it up. There is a real horn gopher. And here it is. Ceratogallus was the same size as its modern day relative, but it resembles a marmot. There are many possible theories on the purpose of the horns. Some paleontologists think that they were used for digging, others think they were used for making displays, while some think it was used as a defense against predators. Number 11 Cubanochiris. If you thought the Babarusa, was a weird pig? Well, you'd be right. But Cubanochiris was not only one of the largest prehistoric pigs, it was one of the weirdest. It had three bony protrusions coming out of its skull. One of them resembles a unicorn horn, but it's also called the unicorn pig. While both genders of the species had the protrusions, males had longer 
and bigger protrusions than the females did. Number 10. Hyracotherium. This small creature may look like a rodent or a hyrax, which the creature was named after, but this is actually a relative of horses. Early horses were about the size of a cat, and they had finger like digits rather than hooves like the wandering relatives did. Number 9. Dokti Kyrus. Next to Clyptodon, Dokti Kyrus was the largest armadillo on the planet. Unlike Clyptodon, though, Dokti Kyrus had a spiked club tail at the end, which was pretty useful to use to defend itself against predators like Smilodon or short faced bears. Number 8. Macrochemia. What happens when you cross a Sega antelope? A camel and a llama, you get macrochemia. Despite its appearance, macrochemia wasn't really related to Night of the Three, but rather than a tapir, which kind of makes sense if you think about it. Now Charles Darwin can rest. The purpose of its trunk might have helped macrochemia chip leaves off of trees or shrubs when eating. Number 7. Since the Tosseris. This animal resembles a cross between a pronghorn antelope and a bit of rhino, with tip split in half. Like its modern day relatives, the antelope themselves, all the males had these bizarre horns, only used on main seasons and territorial fights, which gave them the name meaning combined horn. Number 6. Thylacol Smilus. It may look like a cat. But it's not a cat. Thylacosmilus is a marsupial. Its name even means pouch saber. The South American marsupial predator was the same size as a jaguar, and it's a similar killing technique like Smilodon. The purpose of Thylacosmilus's bony growth on its lower jaw kind of acts like a scarab. They protect the teeth from being worn down any further, and that means the saber teeth would get bigger. Number 5. Brahma Ethereum. Would you believe me if I told you that this bizarre crowned creature is related to giraffes and okapis? Brahma Ethereum belonged to a group called Shiva Therian. Although all of them had weird looking horns, Brahma Ethereum had the weirdest looking horns of all of them, which were used to fight against each other, other males, or defend itself against predators. Like Shiva Therium, Brahma Ethereum was named after a Hindu god, Brahma, the Hindu god of creation. Number 4. Plethibelodon. This bizarre looking beast is a relative of modern day elephants. Boy, there's a lot of elephants on this list, isn't there? Previously, paleontologists once thought they lived in swampy areas because of their shovel like jaws, were used to eat aquatic plants. But it turns out, they lived in woodland areas, and like the Altherium, Petibelodon used their jaws to scrape off tree bark and scoop up loops. Number 3. Entelodons, also called Hell Pigs, Terminator Pigs, or the Hawks from Hell. These pig like creatures ruled the planet for 37 to 60 million years. As vicious as they are, they had two large bony lumps. That are like that of a warthogs. Now, those lumps actually help the pig, give them their powerful bites, or to help them knock down prey. Number 2. Xenocyrex. This odd looking creature is a relative of antelope and deer. Xenocyrex name rightfully means strange horn. Its odd looking T shaped horn bears resemblance to the Star Wars character Padme Amidala. From the Phantom Menace. In fact, the animal's full name means Neocaryx Amadale. Number 1. Wintalthurium. Named after the Wintal Mountains in Wyoming, Wintalthurium was one of the biggest and strangest creatures of the Eocene. While most creatures on this list had two knobs, Wintalthurium had six on its head and two saber teeth. Other than for self defense, 
Wontotherium, use their teeth to plug up aquatic vegetation from swamps and marshes. So, congratulations, Wontotherium. You're the number one weirdest prehistoric mammal 